That is the path of someone who finds the success that they want. to another video. It is Thursday morning and I just finished my little morning routine. I actually woke up when I wanted to, which I'm super proud of. I've been wanting to become more of a morning person and it's kind of finally working. I basically took melatonin before I went to sleep, so that probably helped, but I ended up going to bed around 10.30, which is quite an accomplishment for me. I typically don't do full face of makeup and there's a reason for that. I actually have an event to go to after work tonight. I'll probably talk a bit more about it later in this video, but obviously Obviously, I'll take you guys with me and it's my first time going to like a creator type of event and it is hosted in collaboration with YouTube so that's just a little sneak peek but it is a work day today so I'm gonna get myself ready I'm gonna make myself some food now I think I'm just gonna do some eggs and toast and it's a cold brew it is currently 8 o'clock so I'm actually gonna try to start work a little bit earlier I'm trying to set myself up for success so that I can go off to the event tonight worry free and just know that I finished everything that I needed to do so let's get some food. Bruh. Nothing special. I have this cold brew which I make at home and then I just have a slice of toast. One egg because I like the egg yolk and then I just have egg whites for some extra protein. All right, this angle is kind of really awkward and not really working for me, but we're just gonna deal with it. So I am just gonna log myself into work. I'm gonna start working in the kitchen just because I feel like it's been really dark in the den, which obviously because there's no windows. If you've seen any of my other videos, my den is just over there. It's basically like my little office. I like being there because I have another monitor. That's really helpful. It's actually just like so depressing to be there all day long. By the time that I finish work, it's pitch black outside. So I'm trying to balance having a bit more sunlight or not sunlight, but natural light. So I'm gonna start working out here. I am so hungry. This angle is so awkward, sorry. I'm just logging in now. Like I said, I have some deliverables due today and then I also have a couple big meetings. So I'm gonna jump into that room and then it's gonna be a busy day. <laughs> Lunchtime. It's still so foggy, which is so weird for me. But anyways, I just finished up my meetings for the morning So at least I can focus this afternoon and do some deep work Which as you probably know is just focusing in on getting the things done I'm gonna make some lunch now It's gonna be super duper quick because it needs to be super quick I don't have a lot of time. So literally it's gonna take me five to ten minutes I'm gonna do some fried rice really don't have a lot of food to work with and I don't feel like just eating Garbage today. I don't even have instant noodles. So we're doing fried rice. Just move you guys over so that I can cook while I chat. But I'm actually really excited to just share a bit about this event that I'm going to. It's a collaboration between House and YouTube. These events are like bringing together the creator community and not just YouTubers, just artists in general. Not that I think I'm an artist, but I just, I'm so excited because I feel like I haven't really met other people that are into this type of thing. It is with Molly Burke. If you don't know, she's a creator here on YouTube among other platforms. Everything that she does in terms of awareness for disabilities and just sharing her story so openly, I find really moving and inspiring and I just can't wait to get to meet her as well. So it's basically a workshop. This one is focused on YouTube, but like I said, they have other workshops that are more tailored to other types of creator industries. It's been an event series in Toronto. They've had a few already. I actually applied to go to the one hosted by Laura DIY, who you probably also know on YouTube. And I couldn't get into that one because it is capped at a certain 
certain amount of participants. I'm just whisking my eggs for this fried rice. I only found it through an Instagram ad, which is so random, but I guess they targeted their audience. The doors open at six o'clock and then the event itself, I believe starts at like 6.35. I'll head off after work finishes and I'm sorry you're hearing all this cooking noise. I don't know about you, but fried rice just always has a special place in my heart. I also found in the fridge this kombucha. I love kombucha. I really don't know what it does for you, but I like it better than sparkling water and it's obviously really low in calories. So I'm gonna have this and my fried rice. Just finished up with work. I got my little outfit together and gonna head out in a few minutes. I'm running a little bit late, but what's new? I have these little leather leggings, have not worn these in so long, and then this oversized button up, simple black and white vibe. I'm so excited, I think it's gonna be fun. So, yay! I don't want to do things because just because it gets the views. I want to do things because I believe in it, because I think it's important, because it means something to me, and I think it'll mean something to somebody else out there. Home now, and I just wanted to check in quickly. I do want to get ready for bed because it's kind of late. It's already almost 10 o'clock. I wasn't expecting to be there that long. They have a chance to be around other people that are interested in the space or make videos themselves and stuff is something that I've never experienced before, like I said. I definitely want to talk a bit more about some of the things that I not really learned, but like heard and things that resonate with me tomorrow. There's a lot of candy. I definitely ate too much candy. It was really nice to just disconnect, you know, be present and listen to the stories and meet people and stuff. And I can't wait to just take some time to journal about it. And I will see you guys in the morning. It is Friday morning and I feel like this has been the longest week ever. I feel like I always say that. First, just to catch you guys up on yesterday, so let me just grab the little notebook that they gave us. So they gave us this little notebook and it just says concept with house and YouTube. The notebook is super cute as well because it has the em embossed, I don't know how to say it, concept logo. My hair looks a disaster, sorry, I can't stop looking at it. This is the notebook and then they just gave us this little pen and I just wanted to go through what I kind of wrote about yesterday. Like I said, I'd never been around other creators before and I don't really think of myself as a YouTuber. I guess that's kind of what I need to stop thinking like. It was just interesting that when I was there, people were just asking like, oh, who here makes videos and stuff? Because some people were just starting their journey and only just trying to figure out how to get started. I guess I am a creator and I do make videos. It's not something that I really publicly share because I feel, I don't know, not embarrassed, but yeah, kind of embarrassed about which I need to really work on. But one thing that came up was around what success looks like. I just wanted to quickly touch on this because basically we did a little icebreaker between the people that were sitting next to you and I like that because it's just nice to chat with different people. Side note is that I have social anxiety which I don't think always comes across because I feel like people assume that I just keep to myself but really it's typically in situations when there's a lot of people that I don't know. If it's just one-on-one -on -one conversation I can get along with majority of people or I can at least hold a conversation with most people but it's just when I'm faced with a room full of people that are already talking to each other like I literally feel like I'm gonna crawl out of my skin and I just get like this huge anxiety. So anyways, I really like that there was like seating and stuff. So like I just went up and you know, sat with the table of people for the first session and then we did a bit of a Q&A with Molly Burke. People got to ask her questions as well. So I really liked it and I found it really insightful and just hearing other people's stories and hearing where other people are in their journey as well made me feel like there is a space that exists beyond just me talking to a camera because it, it can feel like that at times. I hope to go to more of those at some point in the future one thing that I want to talk about before I derailed myself was the fact that what success looks like was one of the questions in our icebreaker. Everyone had such different <laughs> answers to that. Basically, my answer was the fact that I'm really trying to push towards monetization. I just 
was talking about the fact that I've been making videos for almost a year now and getting to monetization would be such a huge milestone for me because if you don't know the requirements, it's 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. I'm very, very grateful that I have over 1,000 subscribers. I'll get into that at some point about like how I got there, but the watch hours is based on a yearly basis and I'm not even halfway there and I feel like it just is something that I would really, really like to achieve. And obviously it's not something that you can really control because it's based off of the time that people watch your videos. Then we went around in a circle and people were sharing and I suddenly realized everyone was talking about, I want people to appreciate me for who I am and stuff like that. And then I was like sitting there like, am I just a piece of sh and I wasn't the only person that said monetization, but I thought to myself last night because I came back and obviously I was thinking about what I learned and what I heard and what resonated with me. Monetization comes with AdSense, but it's really not about that because anybody that you watch here, when they first get monetized, it's like my first paycheck, 10 cents. And I fully expect that. So for me, it's really not about the ads themselves. It's the principle of it because by achieving the requirements to be monetized, that is the path of someone who finds the success that they want because if you are able to achieve that in my mind I feel like that means that you are getting people to watch your videos for longer and you are getting people to engage and wanting to see more I had to take a second to recognize why I was saying that because it really isn't for advertisements and you know obviously at some point yeah it'd be great to make money and stuff but that's the end game I like to think of things in a very smart goal oriented way if anyone is in business then you probably have heard of that phrase before but it's like what is actually measurable and attainable and all that type of stuff and for me that's how I would measure it as the next milestone that's just naturally supposed to happen if you are on the right path that's what I think so anyways that's kind of one piece that really stood out to me I actually woke up a bit later than I would have liked but it is still eight o'clock so I think I'm gonna take the next 20 minutes to just get some editing done I have not been as great with my editing this week but what is new I want to take the second to just talk about one key aspect of my editing and and one piece that's also really important in monetization it just happens to intertwine that is music and finding copyright free music if you ever watch a video of mine and you're wondering what that song is and you want to check it out for yourself i will always have the links to the songs in the description and they're all through thematic my dog oh my god i'm not even gonna <sighs> no Sorry, I had to get them or else he was gonna literally rip my socks apart. Music is such a big part of my videos. There's such a difference in the videos that I watch between the different types of songs that people use. And even for my own videos, the minute that I start to layer in music, it feels like a whole different vibe. Unfortunately, a lot of music that we wanna use is copyrighted, which basically means that when you're uploading it, it'll show you that music belongs to someone else and can't actually get AdSense or monetization on that video. Not that I'm part of the AdSense program or monetization yet, but eventually when I want to be there which is like I've said a goal of mine I would like my videos to be eligible so that's just something to keep in mind when I first started I basically was trying to scour the internet for copyright free music and googling and youtubing and it was very very tedious what I love about thematic there's such a wide variety of songs and there's so many genres you can filter your searches by exactly what you're looking for you can find instrumentals you can find different genres my favorites are the lo-fi type of instrumentals or or even if I'm looking for something that has more energy, like, you know, I might look for something EDM related or hip hop and stuff. Found some of my favorite artists, which I also like to go back to because I feel like it adds a bit more consistency, which was also something we talked about yesterday. But basically on your account, you'll go back to the songs that you've downloaded. It'll show you a link and all you have to do is copy that link, drop it into your description of your YouTube video and you're good. And then when you upload it, you won't get like copyright strikes or anything like that. As long as you do a Attribute the rights to the owners. I love using it and I love the music options. I love that it's free There are other options out there You can pay for music and stuff which I thought about doing but as someone who's you know Still kind of getting myself established on YouTube I really didn't want to be forking out 20 30 dollars for music as much as I love YouTube So if you want to check out thematic for yourself There's a link down below to sign up the link is an affiliate link So it does support my channel I'm sharing this because it like completely ties in with the fact that I went to this event yesterday and I wanted to tell you guys a bit more about how I find my music because it is such a big part of my content creator journey. So I'm gonna get back to just a few more tweaks on a video that I'm working on and then I completely forgot to tell you guys, I'm actually going for a little lunch with a mutual friend. I'm gonna head there and then I'm gonna go to like a coffee shop after I think so that I can just get myself sorted. I'm gonna get a few more things done on this video that I'm working on and then I'll head into the office. 
All right, I'm just gonna stop out for lunch now. I don't know if I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm sorry. Be right back. I just got home. What a disaster I am. Oh my God. I just had a soup and then I had to run off. But anyways, I'm back. I was totally planning to do like a cute little cafe and work session there, but that just was not possible. I'm gonna get a kombucha. <laughs> I got this kombucha from the workshop yesterday. I love kombucha. I was literally just saying that yesterday and now I have another kombucha for the day. This is the ginger turmeric kombucha. Probably super good for you or something. I don't even know. Let's, let's give it a taste. It's actually fine. So I'm gonna bring my little kombucha to the den. We are gonna have a great rest of the day. Mm. Thai food. Oh, they need to come up too. I'm feeling kind of like Dwayne The Rock Johnson vibes right now. Just seeing myself with the chain. But anyways, I am a little delirious now. I just finished up with work. I actually took a break. You guys would have seen. I got dinner. I just ordered us some Thai food. It's like a staple for us when we need to order food. But I'm feeling so excited that it's the weekend. Or yeah, it's basically the weekend now. I wish I had a drink to celebrate. I'm gonna make myself a gin and tonic. You know what? Not that I condone using alcohol as a form of romance reward or like crutch for just like life but i'm gonna fix myself up a drink because why the hell not <laughs> oh my god here we are this is my favorite part cheers happy friday if you're watching this on a friday make sure to check out other videos from me on the screen and also link to thematic as well in the description and i'll see you guys next time you know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, i ain't got space to be thinking about Oh, no duh, dumb I think